Hi Internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you today's Tech Tip Tuesday on how to create a glass wall with steel line, steel, um, I'm not sure what you call that, steel across making a grid that looks like this. Let's get started. I'll show you how. So I've started out with this wall as just a plain glass shower wall, if you will. Uh, you can go to, uh, I'm in Chief Architect Premier X13, by the way, on my Windows PC laptop. Um, go into the walls and draw a straight glass wall is what I've done right there. And then I just drop a uh, shower door in the middle of it. And that's what this is right here. I thought I'd start off by drawing moldings and just uh, I could do one molding line and add add multiple lines and that would work especially if you're wanting um, to customize the distances uh, I'd have to then draw some solids going this way and if you're wanting to do something that's not an even like evenly spaced uh, situation you'd probably have to do more customization in this case I'm going to drop in a window here and you'll notice that it has sashes it has um, jams it has trim etc and I'm going to close these and so when I look in plan view um, it something's looking off here right let's tile this view and you can see what's going on when i change this i'm going to open this window and make it number one a fixed glass window i'm going to go into the options casing and undo uncheck interior casing i'm going to make sure i have no lintel no sash no sill i mean we'll keep the sash because uh, that will border the outside of it and then I'm going to uncheck the frame now the sash I'm going to make one inch around sides top middle and bottom and I'm going to make sure there was one uh, right here in sash the uh, important piece for the 3D and for the 2D, the plan here is this line, these double lines right here are not, um, I don't want these outside of the wall. I want that in line with the wall. So I need to open that and go into sash and change my inset from inch and a half by default to zero. Now in this case, I'm going to go into my label and suppress the label and make sure this is not in the window schedule. Lastly, I'm going to add some lights here and let's do three across and four tall. And I'm gonna make these one inch thick muttons. I'm going to uh, go into my Rendering and select my eyedropper off of this hazy smoked glass and paint that on the window here. So I've got the smoked glass in the window. I'm going to uh, just pull this over to the door, pull this over to the wall, you guessed it, down to the floor, and up to the ceiling. I'm not quite sure why it's stopping there, so I'm just going to control and drag that up beyond that stopping point and just take that up to the ceiling there. We'll pick up a color gray, black, paint that. There we go. I can just take this window now and copy it and about the center of the door. There's that side. I'm gonna take a quick elevation view of this. Uh, 
I'm going to select both windows and just make sure we've got uh, 116, 0 to the floor. Looks like it might be a little more than that. Uh, all right, now I'm going to select one of these windows and just copy it and hold position. And then I'm just going to raise that bottom sill and nudge it over to where it bumps into the window beside it. I'm going to pull this beyond and nudge it back up into this window on the right and just remove. So I'm going to do one light and one light horizontal and vertical. Last thing I've got to do, notice I did adjust this door ahead of time to be a quarter of the height of the ceiling so that it lines up with this mutton, this horizontal mutton right here. So I'm going to select this door, and this is a shower door. By default, I cannot add any lights to it. So I'm just going to select this door style as a glass panel. And I've already done it to this door, but I'll show you what I changed. Um, in the casing, obviously we've turned off no casing. The shower doors do that automatically. Uh, by changing it to a glass panel, um, I number one, I changed the panel width and the panel bottom to three quarters of an inch. Let's change those to one inch. Because that's what I've got on the other, on the windows. And then I can, by changing it to glass panel, um, I can go into, now I have the option of doing lights. One across, three vertical, one inch muttons. And it almost lines up right there. Good enough for the view of what I want. Now I took these windows and added them to my library. Select the window and click on add to library. Um, which works fine, but there is how you can quickly get a nice uh, grid look of, of steel across a wall. I hope uh, you've learned something new. If you like this information, uh, please drop encouragement down there. Like and subscribe. Uh, leave comments. I always enjoy interacting with you all. Take care. Have a wonderful week.